ignore the meowing kitty cat in the background. Rachel, do not start meowing at the kitty in the background. Okay, the kitty's not outside your window. Anyhow. Well, yours here, so I'm being lazy. I'm not grabbing my tripod because this is just going to be a quick, quick little video. Uh, a little update on some of the stuff that I got from the gun show for 2022, Tanner Gun Show. Uh, mostly just bought magazines. I did manage to snag one case of MREs real quick. Yeah, so, yeah, packaged uh, back in uh, August of 2019, and the inspection date was August of this year, so, yeah, relatively new, and the little, little telltale dot is not black, still fairly orange, so I know these things haven't been exposed to that much heat, <clears throat> and got some more tracer ammunition. This is uh, 45 auto. It's kind of hoping I could get some 5.56 and 9 mil, but unfortunately, no luck. But hey, at least I walked around, walked away with a couple boxes of these. So about 45 bucks for all three boxes. <sighs> and then let's see. Yeah, we'll start over here. Got some actual genuine cult magazines these were pretty damn pricey um literally 35.99 a piece like i said little little pricey for my taste but whatever they're cult so and then i got some duramag never heard of duramag but these are made in the united states are also aluminum mags that look pretty much identical to U.S. Uh, GI mags as far as the uh, outer case is concerned. And then these are some mystery mags. I thought these would fit in an AR-15, but even though I can get them to seat in the AR-15, for some reason I can't get the rounds to strip off the magazine and chamber into the rifle like it's supposed to. So I'm unsure what I'm going to do with these. Can't really take them back because I bought them from a private seller. <clears throat> These are mystery mags. I have no idea who makes them. The only thing that's on there is a letter A. I can't get that damn camera to focus. Letter A and it just says made in USA. That's the only markings that's on here. And here, real quick. I'm going to pop one of these packages open if I can. One handed, come on. Don't be a bastard. There we go. They've got the same follower. I mean, the dimensions look about the same. The only thing that I've noticed that's a little different with these mystery mags, the angle down here tapers in a little bit more than it does on a standard 30 round capacity mag. So, And I have no idea what these the capacity these mystery mags are they definitely take 5.56 five, that much i've figured out but i have no idea what the max capacity is for all i may know there could be 40 rounders but i can't for some reason for the life of me get these damn things to strip rounds off like they're supposed to so a little bummed out about that because i spent 25 bucks a piece on these so might have to do some modifications i don't know take a file or something file those that the end of the feed lip because seems like the ends of the rounds keep catching the end of this feed lip and that's why it won't chamber so that's what i might do is i might try disassembling one of these and see if i can do some slight modification to get it to work if i can then i have salvaged my 25 bucks if not well I'm kind of stuck with these damn things because they're paperweights now. Yeah. And then these right here, Beretta mags. These are surplus Beretta mags. Um, the seller wanted $12 for them, but 
course, I didn't give no 12 bucks for them. I, I asked them, hey, would you mind, would you take 60 if I bought all of these from you right here, right now? And he did, which wasn't a bad deal because I've seen these go anywhere between 18 on the extremely high end and like 12 bucks on the lower end. So I got these for a decent price. <clears throat> I'll take these apart, see what the springs look like. The followers on all of them look pretty darn good. They don't look like they're excessively worn out. Uh, try cleaning them up a little bit. They're a little, little dirty, but whatever. But yeah, that's the haul. I might, I'm definitely going back to the gun show tomorrow. Might get some more stuff, but who knows? Well, that's all I've got. I'm Dior, and I'm out. Now back to our regular scheduled programming.